So another type of um, tear that could actually occur in the meniscus of the knee is a parod beak type of tear. So all these other ones are different examples, which I'll be talking about them as we go on. But in this video, we are just focusing on the parod beak type of tear. Parod beak tear of the knee meniscus. Okay. So talk about the characteristics, symptoms, the diagnosis, treatment options, and all of that. So we are just here to look at the, the picture, if you ask me. Okay. So this is how a parod big tear of the knee meniscus will look like. So a parod big tear of the meniscus is a type of what? Radial tear. Okay. So it looks like a radial tear, but it's kind of like different. So it's a type of a radial tear with an oblique course, giving it a characteristic appearance that resembles the beak of a parrot on imaging studies. Okay. So what is the characteristics? Appearance on axial image, the tear what? Is called like a V shape that is similar to what I say. It's like a V shape, like it's similar to a parrot beak. Yeah. Location is it occurs in the inner that the vascular part of the meniscus, making natural healing difficult. This part has what no blood supply. Okay, so natural healing is difficult. Mechanism tear actually starts as a radial tear on the inner rim and projects longitudinally towards the periphery. Okay. Symptoms of course there will be pain, there'll be swelling, there'll be stiffness, there'll be catching or locking when you walk. Okay. Then um diagnosis is imaging. Okay. MRI, they could do a physical examination. Right, we are trying to access the knees range of motion, stability, and tenderness. Treatments we use conservative methods or surgical methods. Conservative methods is just use rest, eyes, compression, and elevation. Okay, that's rice. Then surgical is uh, basically a, surg a surgery is done to address the tear. Okay, so I think on that basis, that's it for the parabolic tear. Of the knee meniscus, okay, which is a type of what meniscus tears.